And they are banged up as well. We'll tell you that story as this one unfolds, but certainly a really rising program in college football on the field today at Neyland Stadium. This one will be taken out by D. Williams. He was five yards deep. A couple of blocks out to the 20-yard line, and, and he is 7-5 and five in those starts. Milton keeps it. First play. How about Joe Milton? He's in midfield. It's a foot race down the near side. Can anybody catch him? He's to the 10. It's a touchdown, Tennessee. 81 yards. Play design is flawless. The end crashes down. He's able to get on the perimeter. And now it's just a foot race between him and the corners and the safeties. And you talk about a 6'5 man running real fast. That's what it looks like. Unbelievable run by Joe Milton. Great start for the Tennessee Volunteers. 46 yards in the first three games. 81 yards on the first play of this game. He'll throw it here, though. Pass caught on the outside. And that'll go to McCallan Castles, the tight end. And, and they proved that fact. So as we look at it, uh, it showed up, and now what they have to do is just come out, let him get in rhythm, and that's what they're doing right now. That pass is caught there by Brew McCoy. They will hand it off to Sampson. That'll be a touchdown. Ten yards for Dylan Sampson. Trey Moore had a shot at him, but couldn't hold on and put another six on the board for the Big Orange break when Jalen Wright has to leave the game for an equipment adjustment. All he does is take his first carry into the end zone. 14 nothing. So another look at Lucas Dean. He will punt it away. D. Williams. This was partially blocked. D. won't have a chance to field this one. Boy, what is Tennessee doing? They touched it. This may be UTSA football. The Tennessee unit. You cover these rules in your special teams meetings on Thursday and Friday, and this is just a faux pas. The mistake of going after a ball when all you had to do was just let it. They'll run it. They'll go with Robert Henry, and he will power his way down to the 26-yard line, a gain of 14, and the chains will move again for the Roadrunners. Predicated on the run. It gets downhill. Robert Henry is physical at the point of contact, and he just keeps his feet moving. All of these backs. After a medical procedure, and he has been a game time decision. I thought we might see him today at some point. Here's Brew McCoy with that reception. Tennessee with these wide splits are making them a line, sideline to sideline. Here goes Brew McCoy again, dancing around inside the 40. Milton, quick throw to the outside, pass is caught there. Jacob Warren flipped up in the air, loss of a yard on the play. And just one quarter, here comes some pressure. A little run blitz, Tennessee gashes it. Jabari Small, down to the 20 and falls at the 18-yard line. What a run. He's small on the run blitz, he gashes it for 40 yards. And then... No time to waste. Milton, little shoulder fake, stands in the pocket over the middle. How about that two-play touchdown drive from Tennessee? 18 yards on the strike. Caleb Webb with the touchdown reception. He's now 11 of 13 for 98 yards. Rocco Griffin in at tailback. Pressure comes, Marburger. Dropped back at the 16-yard line. Mama, there goes that man, Tyler Barron. First down and 10 will throw. Pass caught there by Squirrel White. Hit immediately by two or three white jerseys. By the way, that Joe Milton 81-yard touchdown run you were just talking about. Milton going up top. Pass is caught. Ramel Keaton with a remarkable catch, 48 yards. Defense, 12 players on the field and snaps. The penalty is nice job line. on the double move. But what you see is the acceleration, the ability to stack, and now being able to adjust to the football. Run crossers will be able to get the back out of the backfield here. 
They will run it with nowhere to go as Amari Thomas wraps him up in a hurry. Barnes nowhere to run. The FBS with seven TFLs coming into this game from Beasley, the former defensive back in high school. That one is intercepted at midfield. What a diving catch. So the defensive back here, what, what a great play, what an interception. But there was an early tug. We talked about this. Another chance for this Tennessee offense to find pay dirt from midfield. They will hand it off and go to Dylan Sampson. Another big run to the 10 and bumped out of bounds near the six yard line. When we look at this long run, what happens here? There's guys at the first level. There's nobody at the second level. And when you have nobody at the second level, backs like Samson will make you pay every time. Had him as a young player and, you know, just glad to see him, him doing well for UTSA. Boy, wide open, nice throw there. Josh Cephas with the reception. It's quick tempo, and again, you saw that from Florida last week. It was the ability to get to. I'll go empty here. McCow tried to find a little bit of room to run, but that pocket collapses. That'll be a loss of three on the play. A little confusion. They're trying to throw it back to McCow, and that one didn't work. That one was snuffed out by Tyler Barron, who had a read on McCow, and McDonald able to get the sack in the backfield. You'll look here, but they caught him. Okay, but in zone defense, so when they got an edge player sitting outside, there's nowhere to go. Trying to set up a middle screen. Down to the five, down to the three yard line goes Robert Henry. Well done by UTSA. They definitely don't look as sharp right now. And they come with a little bit of pressure. Pass caught there. Tyke Ogle Kellogg breaks free. Young man coming back to Tennessee with the catch and the touchdown. What a catch and finish right here by McCown. Look at the pressure in his face. He gets hit, and now it's just about the missed tackle and run after the catch. Holly Lane having to run center while Mays is out with an injury. Here's Milton. Three-man rush, eight-man drop. Dumps it off underneath. It's McCallan Castles. And I don't think he got enough for the first down. They're going to. I think he did. Oh, he did. They're going to spot it right on the 35. So they'll move the chains. The senior is not on the field right now. Hasn't been there the last couple of possessions. Oh, a little shovel pass underneath. That one is to Dylan Sampson running hard and flipped up at the 30-yard line. Here we go. It's a nice job of just being able to run something a little different, give him a different look. Great blocks inside. Nice job getting to the second level. Good physical run. It's helped coordinating that broadcast. They have done a great job. It's, it's awesome to hear the excitement. There's some excitement for Tennessee. Dante Thornton inside the 10. It'll be first and goal. What a dart. Player down for UTSA. Two of them. One in the backfield. One down the five yard. Actually, three of them. And one on the near side, the 10. Hand it off to Small again, and he just powers his way in for a touchdown. His first one of the 2023 season for the senior out of Memphis, Tennessee. They line up here. That's just lead. That ball comes downhill. It's good push up front by the offensive line. Great lead block. You just hope it's nothing serious for those guys, but. Tennessee keeping it on the ground. Dylan Sampson across midfield and out of bounds just outside the 40-yard line. Being able to finish. Again, here goes Sampson. This one will go for six. The Dylan Sampson drive, the touchdown went 41 yards. When you look here, it's inside zone, but look at the footwork. 
Nice skip jump. He comes back, and now but he just does the electric slide, and the rest is the boogaloo to the end zone. Yes. They're not out of the question to win an SEC West. Not at all. Intercepted. McCown just throws it up in the air. Warren Burrell with the pick. He's been able to, you know, sort of make his presence felt out there on the football field. And then we look at sometimes just being Johnny on the spot. What we say defensively, sometimes if you're just doing your job, the ball just hits you in the face. Boy, McCown got slapped to the turf and got up and made the play. Applied the pressure. He'll be dropped. Lost the football for a moment. Got it back, but dropped for a sack. That'll be a loss of seven on the play. That was nice to see. They got into a five-man front, and they come with the inside game with five-man pressure. Turnover. Real on the field is a fumble recovered by the defense. Please reset play. the game clock to four minutes, 16 seconds. Four, one, six. These fan bases are different. Yeah. Truly different. This might be the last play of the game. Another handoff. And that uh, probably do it as the clock goes under 10 seconds. Tennessee will. Pick up the win here. They'll go to three and one, a day where they put up 512 yards of offense. Give something.